Alright, so apparently I did make top 8, at 7th place even, as the best rated player with 12 points. Awesome. And we are finally facing a white red deck here, so let's hope this goes well. Yes, I would like to play first, and no, that's not a mulligan, that's an excellent hand against white red. <coughs> let's see if our opponent chooses to mull. Alright, he chose to keep. So let's start up with swamping the Traveler's Amulet. <coughs> Not sure what what I should get with that Traveler's Amulet. I think probably a swamp. Alright, so that is going to have to wait since I'm going to Devil's Play his turn on Champion of the Parish here. Alright, another champion of the parish. So let's devil pl devil's play it again. <coughs> yeah, at this point I think we are going to get uh, a swamp here. Could get a forest too, but you know, I think there are more cards that with double swamp that I want to draw here, like... I mean, I don't really want to draw Liliana. Could draw into a blood gift demon, but still won't, wouldn't be able to, to, to play it. Yeah, that's... You know what? I think I'm gonna take a forest. So if I draw Garrick, right? Then I go Squatter. Sure. Let's play a, uh, a Witchbane Orb here at this point, so that he cannot uh, target us with his burn spells. Taking one. Alright, that is perfect. Nice draw. Sever that guy up. Let's see what else he's got here. Cloistered Youth, so hopefully we'll draw into a mountain. Well, we kind of did, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're running good here at this point. Have to draw into a mountain and uh, flash this thing back here to kill his Cloistered Youth. <coughs> Still need some threats here to be able to really... Uh, uh, pull this game off. Right, this guy is getting devil's played here, obviously. Yeah, that's gonna be be good next turn. But uh, yes, before that, I am going to to get his instigator gang. Yeah, so 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 far this deck did what it's meant to do, you know. Alright, now I'm gonna play a Blasphemous Act, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'll leave the Ghost Quarter up so that I can, at the end of his turn, uh, pop my one of my mountains here to search for a uh, swamp. Alright, so he has two cards in hand. Let's see if my Blood Gift Demon will survive. Yes, let's get a swamp. And another swamp. Look at that. Let's hope he doesn't have a fireball here, because if he does, we are going to lose our demon. Guess at least, at least it's not going to be aimed at my face, right? <clears throat> Alright, Fiend Hunter. I mean, he, he cannot aim at my face either way, you know, thanks to each Bane Orb. Alright, this is uh, a fine card to draw. Since I can uh, actually kill his Fiend Hunter at the end of his turn. If he has a Brimstone Valley, he will be able to kill my demon, but oh well. At least this way he cannot get it with a fireball.
Let's hope he doesn't have it. But I'm thinking he does, since he didn't play anything else. Alright, he didn't. Which means that we are in a pretty good position here at this point. Let's bash him for five. Let's see what he does here. If he has a fireball, this is the time to use it, obviously. Alright. He did have it. So we're back to square one. Drawing a Garrick here would will be pretty good. Ooh. <laughs> Look who showed up. He cannot kill my Garrick at this point, so let's just make a wolf. <coughs> if he attacks my Garrick, I am even tempted to let him uh, hi hit him, since you know. I kind of want a demon here at this point. So yeah, I think I'm going to let him. Maybe he has a werewolf there and doesn't want my Garrick to be able to actually kill it. It's going to be fine and all, but All right, or maybe not. Victim of night, huh? I think I'll put a wolf token here first and then bash him. No reason to, to search for the, the demon now since, you know, this way uh, I would just play play the demon and he would just flash Devil's Play back and get to kill my Garrick. I certainly don't, don't want that to happen. We have only one creature here, right? Yep. So the ultimate here in Black Garrick is not going to be so hot. So he's gonna kill my wolf. Sure. And bash my Garrick. No problem. <clears throat> Just gonna make another wolf. Attack him. Ooh, look at that. Don't think I need to play Lula Liana here at this point. What we need to do here is actually draw into a fireball. That will end this game very quickly. If he bashes with Doom Traveler, then I'm blocking. Alright. So he's taking which of my wolves, I'm not sure. Alright, that one. Cool, so he bashes. I am going to victimize his Fiend Hunter at the end of his turn since I do want to keep bashing him with my wolf. Let's do this. Sadly, I do not get my token back, but that's life. Uh, let's put a wolf token, yes. And bash with the wolf. At this point here, I am playing a witch bane orb since, you know, it's very uh, unlikely that he actually has. Oh man, I misclicked. That was my bad. But I was going to say it's very unlikely he has artifact removal in his main deck. But well, it can hurt to play a second witch bane orb here, right? All right, devil's play. So he has what one devil's playing his his graveyard at this point. Since he already flashed his first one back, we are gonna keep uh, putting tokens onto the battlefield here. And I think I actually want to play a Liliana of the Veil. force a discard, right? I can discard my other orb. See what he has in hand there. A devil's play, sure. 
So do we dead weight his guy? I don't think we should. <coughs> See what he plays. What is that? Instigator gang. Sure. If he attacks, I'm blocking. Make no mistake. Alright, so he didn't attack. Which means that I'll have to actually do this now. I have to victimize his guy. And then uh, play a dead weight. And then kill his instigator gang with my Liliana. Since instigator gang is pretty tough to beat. Alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. Make him sack a creature. And I think... I mean, do I do that? Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna start making more tokens here to to get him with. Since, you know, at this point I only have two uh, creatures left in my, in my deck. Uh, those are two uh, demons, blood gift demons, and he has two devil's plays here on his graveyard. He will, will be able to get rid of both. Eventually, I'm gonna draw into a fireball here and just uh, just be able to kill him. Let's make a token. That's all. We don't really need to make him discard any anything, but I think I am going to do that since this makes it so that he cannot. Uh, that if he draws an, an instigator gang, it's it's dead no matter what, and I do not lose my Liliana in the process. So let's discard him out. Just waiting for the fireball here. Oh, look at that, it's a blasphemous act. So, I think I'm gonna use the Liliana here. Let's see if he has a, a Midnight Haunting. Yes, he does. Alright. I'm gonna discard my extra Liliana. And bash him with my wolf tokens. Let's put another wolf token here into the battlefield. If he draws into a, a, an instigator gang, he will be able to kill Maliliana, but at this point I'm not really worried about that. Alright, so he's attacking my Garrick. Alright, no problem. Let's see what he's gonna play here. Alright, a Fiend Hunter. So I'm gonna attack him with all of my guys and then play a Blasphemous Act, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see what I draw first. Alright, so he's gonna kill one of my other wolf tokens. Sure. Woodland Cemetery. Uh, Alright, let's attack with both wolves here. At this point I really do not feel like uh, like playing a Blasphemous deck because you know, I kinda have the game at this point. So let's put a token and let's... Yeah, we could even force a sacrifice, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. If he wants to attack my Liliana for two and kill it, he can. No reason to make any anyone sacrifice anything here. <coughs> I mean, anyone discard anything. Alright, so he's at three. He really cannot attack here at this point. Unless he, he, draw into, he drew into something. 
but otherwise you really cannot attack you have to just chomp I mean not chomp, to trade for two of my wolves go down to two and I'll have two wolves here looking at his face alright apparently he will kill my Liliana and go down to one it's reasonable I guess alright another Garrick so let's bash him with wolves here and then make another wolf right alright so at this point he does not have a hmm that's interesting he does not have a fireball which means that I could actually sack a wolf here but you know what I don't really think I need to because this way if he has a way to remove my wolf he could uh, just kill my Garrick see because he will be able to deal 4 damage to it either if he had either a midnight haunting or a, a an instigator gang if he drew an instigator gang that it would be kinda bad for me so yeah at this point he cannot attack alright so he will attack with one of his guys there If I want to, ooh, sever the bloodline, huh? All right, let's try that. One, two, three, four. If that works, then he's dead. I mean, unless he has another midnight haunting in in hand, then he's not dead. But well, I guess we shall see. All right. Awesome. So it's 1 now for us. Let's bring in 1 HB Orb, 1 Olivia, and 2 Curses of Death Hold. Death Hold. Could take out maybe a Traveler's Amulet. Lilianas can definitely get out. Uh, and what else? Maybe 1 Victim of Night. Yeah, I think that's. I mean, I don't really want to take out a victim of night here, especially on the on the draw. But I'm not sure what else could I take out here. Traveler's amulet. No, I really think I should do it like this. All right, this is certainly a keepable hand with Garrick's and deadweights and you know lands. And the fact that he did not ooh, look at that. The fact that he did not start with a turn one play there makes me also very happy. Alright, that guy is getting dead weighted. <clears throat> Get out of here, cloister youth. Maybe he has the witch brain orb. Hopefully he doesn't. And we'll get to kill some some guys here with the curse of death hold. Does he have the midnight haunting? I suppose he does, right? Don't think he would have just kept his this hand with no place turn one and no place turn three. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it's actually an instigator game. All right, so that means that I'll play my Garrick to take care of that. And then next turn I will play a Curse of Death's Hold. That's gonna be a close one, I guess. Oh, I could actually uh, target this guy with the Devil's Play, but I think I'm gonna target him with Garrick because this way it also saves some damage, since he will have to attack my Garrick with at least one of his tokens. <clears throat> and I'll only take one damage here. Man, he, he could play like a Geist on it monk here, right? That would be amazing. Alright, Silver Chase Fox. <clears throat> it's 
So, what do we do here? I think we'll play a forest and say go, and just try and get his his fox with a brimstone volley. Oh, he has another. All right. Let's see what he does. One, two, three, four. I'm going down to eleven. If he has a brimstone volley in hand, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage. But I think I'm gonna be well on my way to to win this matchup. Unless he has an orb. Ooh, all right. So I'm down to six, which is pretty bad news, I would say. <laughs> Even with the curse of death hold, I'll be dead too. Uh. That to his burn spells. Skill all of his spirit tokens, make it so that he has a lot of of blanks to draw here. If he draws a fireball I'm dead, but if he doesn't, likely it's a blank. Alright, let's try to end this quickly here. Let's play a Garrick, make a token. <coughs> See what happens here. Ooh, all right. So let's make another token, bash him, and fireball his face. Ooh, all right. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So going down to twelve. If he doesn't do anything, he's gonna go down to eight next turn. Oh man, he has a fireball. That's very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. Oh well. <coughs> At least we got to start it this time, right? Uh, do we bring in a fourth witch bane? I don't think we do, especially on the play. Yes, yeah, so let's just submit as is. Let's play first. Yes. Oh, I'm certainly not mulling this hand. Has a blasphemous act, has brimstone volley, and it even has Miss Olivia there. And you know, of course, a curse of death hope. Let's just hope that I draw into the lands that I need. Oh man, I do not like seeing that. I really don't. <coughs> Alright. Let's play a Cloister Youth, bashing me for two. I'm taking two. Yeah, that's a problem. Really need to draw into land here. I, w I, I won't even be able to play the Blasphemous Act otherwise. Man, I really do not want to lose this matchup since, you know, it's pretty much my, my best matchup. Uh, let's see, this card now costs uh, 1 plus 5. It costs 6 mana, so I guess I'm just... Brimstone, volleying his champion of the parish. A forest here will be awesome. Has four cards in hand. All right, come on, land one time. All right, that is certainly not a land. <laughs> oh well, I think I'm just gonna brimstone volley his guy there. Doing my turn so that he does not have the mana up to Brimstone Valley me back for five. Alright, at least he didn't have the, the werewolf. That would certainly be bad news for me. Look at that. Yep. I think I'm gonna lose this one, <laughs> sadly.
If I draw into a forest here, I think I'm just uh, throwing my Garrick away. Ooh, Geist and the Monk, which means that there's a chance that I'll get to. Alright, not really. Oh man. So if he plays a creature here, and next turn I draw into something, then. Well, I'll just be dead, right? That was a very, very, very unfortunate match. <coughs> but oh well, I guess at least I made the top 8, right? So yeah, I'm just dead, right? Yep. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. Alright, so... At least I made the top 8, so... <laughs> at least there's some booster packs and, and QPs waiting for me in the end. So thanks for watching and see you next time.